Hi, I'm Katie Brown and welcome to part two of the goal setting module. In this video, we're gonna break down the practical steps that you need to take in order to achieve your dream ATAR. Let's begin with setting up your big goal. There are two parts to working out what your goal should be. So first, you need to know the big end goal. In this case, the ATAR you want to achieve. And second, you need to know what you need to do between now and the end of school in order to achieve that ATAR by breaking it down into smaller goals. And the sum of these small goals will add up to one big goal at the end of the year. First, let's begin with the end in mind. If you're one of the lucky ones, you already have a clear idea of what career you want to do and what university course you need to get into in order to make it all happen. In this case, it makes it extremely easy for you to find the ATAR that you'll need to achieve. But what if you don't know what career you want to pursue or what university you want to get into? Here's some tips you can follow to find out what ATAR you need to aim for. Step one, find a quiet place with a pen and paper for about 10 to 15 minutes and jot down your passions and your interests. Take some time to self-reflect and analyze all the parts of life that both fulfill you and challenge you. Then match this up with some simple research in the form of career paths that factor in your written list. For instance, if you enjoy writing, then naturally industries like journalism, media and publishing are all great starting points. Step two, challenge yourself to explore areas of study and employment that you might not have considered before. Make the effort to really understand what they do and see if they spark any interest in you. The benefit of this step is that you not only have to consciously consider the direction of your life for the next three or four years, but it's also a great way to eliminate career options that just don't appeal to you. The process of elimination is a great way to shortlist your career options and for you to focus on your potential career options that actually interest you. Step three, once you've narrowed your shortlist down to an even shorter list of options, identify the university courses that give you access to the field that you're interested in. This part can get tricky if you've got too many options or your options are a little bit eclectic in nature. I know it can be a little bit daunting, but it's crucial that you explore and address all of your career options in order to help facilitate the goal setting process. To some of you, this may be a little bit overwhelming, particularly if you haven't given it much thought before. But the sooner you tackle this head on, the better you'll be. Having said that, it's also equally important to remember that you can change your career options and university courses over time if they just don't spark your interest. Remember, entering uni degree doesn't mean you can't change your mind about what you want to study or what you want to be in your future career. All you need for the time being is a baseline of options to help you formulate your big goal and get you super excited for all of your opportunities after year 12. Step four. Finally, once you've identified the uni courses that match your shortlist, you can look at the historical marks that were required to get into that course and aim for that sort of ATAR. A simple Google search should do the trick. If you followed these steps, you should take a moment to appreciate what you've just done. You've hopefully achieved a greater degree of clarity and hopefully you're so much more enthused about achieving that dream ATAR. The intention of any big goal is to build the why behind the energy that you'll put in to achieve this goal. In the next video, we'll break down how to get from where you are now to achieving this new fantastic big goal. I'm Katie Brown, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.